I'm not sure that I remember the last time that we specifically went out to try to get like a diamond or a rare with a specific weapon. I mean, we carried the 16 gauge, I'm sure, whatever the Silver Ridge Peaks weapon was. Was there a weapon that came out with Silver Ridge Peaks? I know the Te Awaro one was 303, but regardless, we kind of just carried those on those maps and I found diamonds along the way, but since we got the Championship 338, we've not been able to specifically get a diamond or a rare with it, so that's kind of the hope today. We've tried SRP, we've tried uh, a little bit on Parquet there. I just wanted to switch it up. I've been wanting to get out on Yukon anyway, so we'll sort of see how we can do here. What's going on? Kyla Mel's in here, Cycle's in here, Hunter Man's in here. Do something dumb, I need content for my 4 hour video I'm making of you whilst doing a Paul Harrell impression. I, I hope you do this. I really want you to do this. I'll pretend to be an expert at some point. Don't let me forget, but I'll pretend to be an expert just for you. A fake expert, that is. What's up, Andrew? Longbow? It may have been. Oh, that was the, the Silver Ridge Peaks one? So, I remember right after SRP came out, but I think it was the recurve. Um, <laughs> yeah, because we killed a diamond turkey with the longbow. That was kind of, kind of the same thing. We just sort of carried it. Right after SRP came out, somebody did a weapon switch uh, during a Twitch stream, and we ended up having to shoot a diamond elk, our first diamond elk with the recurve, I hear, oh, my thing's off again. I always turn off the HUD to make thumbnails with guns and then I forget to turn it back on. Anyway, I hear poor Rascal, wherever he's at, unable to follow us on the bridge. Stupid question, but how far away from a need zone do I need to place my tent? Generally speaking, like 200, 220 meters is pretty ideal. So animals don't seem to be visible if you're within like 200 meters of where they are when you spawn at a tent. I think the same can be said for an outpost. There's a couple of species that doesn't apply to. Ducks, um, ducks and rabbits maybe? I'm not even sure rabbits it might not apply to. I feel like there's something other than ducks. But yeah, um, generally other than that for like big game, about that 220 mark. Just got a 176 kudu horn goat on classic. Best thing I've seen in two days straight of, of hunting bush rangers run. Not to spoil tomorrow's video. Did classic again, trying to get things back in order as far as the schedule goes. But I feel that. Spent quite a bit of time hunting. And I just, you know, I got some cool stuff, but nothing super special to speak of. And that's been the case for my last couple of hunts as well. What's up, Maxim? Bottom boys in here, all the Monday vibes. A Monday after a football Sunday. How long has it been since the Super Bowl back in February? Good times. I like it. The ducks will almost immediately fly, though, if you spawn too close. This is true, yeah. If you're... You can usually spawn about 75 from ducks if you crouch. You'll be okay. I don't know what this moose thinks he's doing, but I don't think he's going to get away with it. I don't appreciate trespassing. So I've been on some multiplayer servers lately, and it doesn't seem to be the case on my map, but some people's maps up here at the bridge is just absurd with how many grizzly bear are in the area, and seems to me we've got about three females, maybe four. Did we spot both of these? We did. I've seen like as many as 20 bears just all clustered in here, and it must be like when you got the map and like when the zone's populated. Because there's just nothing to speak of here, but unfortunately, you can no longer just dive off the bridge and heal, so we gotta fast travel to the tent and run over to get our moose. Still have a migraine, hopefully your uh, lunch helps that, Kyla. Hey, what's up, Great White Ginger? Good to see you once again. Look at all these guys just migrating across just like they're supposed to. You know, if we're here, might as well just smoke a caribou as well, or try. Was that just farther than I thought? I don't know. Going down now. Food is here. Good, good, good. Lucas, thank you for the super chat. Got a new prime bow. Can't wait for deer season. Nice, man. I know um, some of you guys maybe know of the Bearded Buck Outdoors. They're on the Outdoor channel. I think they're maybe on like their fifth season. But I, um, the, how do I want to say this? Like the main guy, like the founder, I guess, of that was my baseball coach when I was younger. 
And I think they are sponsored by Prime Bows, and they kill all kinds of cool stuff, so I'm sure those bows are more than capable. Gotta say, uh, we're shooting with um, Obsession still. I'm getting mine about where I want it. I've The whole off-season, I've been trying to get things kind of all dialed in, and I, I think I'm pretty pleased with where I'm at. Mondays are stream days, indeed. You know, that's... Minus a couple of Mondays where I've been away or whatever. For... Gosh, almost four years, every single Monday's been a stream day. I'm proud of the fact that, like, we've kept it going for that long. Intestines and intestines. Did it change something? Maybe my lead just was bad? Maybe Caribou just trot quickly? Feels like the M1 normally would have fired a little faster. It's probably me, though. Still trying to get my first great one. Hopefully that comes along sometime soon for you, Curtis. Hey, what's up, Roll? A product of killing off other zones happened with my Harlequin Ducks, and there ended up being like 200 stacked in random needs that I didn't know about. About 200 meters off the reserve. Yeah, it could be. That could very well be. Um, yeah, I think... I don't know. So the reason that I'm wondering if it's maybe that and potentially something else is I've seen a bunch of multiplayer servers that get like that. Maybe all these servers are ones where the host, like, shot tons of grizzly bear. But I do think it could be initial spawn stuff, where maybe they didn't buy the map until a couple of weeks ago for whatever reason, maybe during the summer sale, and just hadn't been up to that particular spot, and there's just a ton of them that spawned there. It really does depend, but you're probably right. Um, the other zone stuff, like, I had that with Fox. I was hunting all around the map, but I was unaware that they spawned in here. And it's not like they were all packed into one spot, they were all spread throughout. But there was exactly 20 red fox that I was able to kill in one run. So that kind of stuff does happen. If you don't know about a spot, they keep on respawning and respawning in different areas. And sometimes they get all crowded in one spot. What part of PA are you in, if you don't mind sharing? And have you ever watched Wired Outdoors? I have watched them. Um, and I'm like West Central PA. Are you gonna do real life hunting this year or no, I am. Um, kind of getting some last minute stuff set up for that as well. But yeah, I'm um, hoping to do it in the same capacity or more than ever. A cookie, you say, Kyla? Who would ever have thought to do such a thing? What a wild and crazy idea. Oh, I'd love to see you hunting with the 6.5. So we brought that a little bit out on Parquet recently. One of these days I'll take it to, I don't know, like maybe Rancho and just do a, a strictly deer hunt with it. I like it a lot, it just is underpowered for those animals. I want to do a comparison video with the Mosin and the 6.5. The thing is, it's going to be tough because it's basically going to have to be a soft point ammo comparison video. The Mosin doesn't have polymer tip bullets, and... I don't know, it's a weird one, like, it, it shows very low penetration for soft point, but the Mosin tends to do really well. So, I don't know, it might not be a fair comparison. I really want to test, though. I think the 6.5 probably should be a 3-7 to 7 like the Mosin. Maybe if I did such a video and, you know, if the results are about right, maybe it will, uh, inspire some change. You're welcome, Kyla. Steelers looked alright yesterday, their defense looked mid-season form top tier. I mean, it's not like Josh Allen was on his game either, but 80 plays, 79 plays the Bills ran, and they scored 16 points. Like, the defense did incredibly well, and, you know, new offensive line, I'm not gonna worry too much about the offense, although they did look very much like they looked last year, and that is short passes and not a lot of dynamic stuff, but we'll kinda see how that evolves. What jacket in Classic is the closest to Paul's? Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know. There used to be, actually, like a really similar one. But I don't think they still have that. There was like a button down kind of olive drab jacket. It would have fit pretty good. Are you gonna tell me that wasn't a long shot now? I'm starting to think either I'm really bad or <laughs> something's going on. Last time was the M1, that time was the 330. It did fine on the moose though. What have I done wrong? Uh, my Twitch sub renewed today, and guess how many months are we at now? Is it 12? 
I bet it's 12. I feel like it's 12. I need to remember to call you JW, by the way. Because I was going to say your name, but I know that always ends up being weird because you're not used to it. Do you have any tips for getting diamonds? I mean, generally, like, my kind of advice for diamond or trophy hunting is hunt around lakes. You'll kind of notice throughout this video that I'm going to be hunting near lakes or near water in general. And I'm going to be focusing on... This is difficult to describe, but the places where I know animals are going to be active. So what I mean by that is currently it is 603 in game. So grizzly bear are drinking and I'm going to lakes where I know grizzly bear tend to be. And even though I'm not making the best of shots when I attempt to get them, this is the exact same spot where we shot the level seven in that mission video. Wait a minute. Hold on. Unless that's a feed zone. Okay. <laughs> I, I was about to be very worried by the fact that it didn't die. Um, so yeah, this was the same spot where we messed up a level 7 for a mission. Um, same zone and everything. Maybe it's just difficult to shoot them here. I know the green... Oh, that might work, Hunter Man. I really hope you're serious about doing this. Because <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Mac Jones compared to Tua last night was so obvious it's not... It's not even Tua's debut game and he still did worse. So I didn't get to watch that game. Hopefully Asset's here to be upset at that, by the way. But, um... I also haven't watched the highlights yet. Am I correct that I hear that Mac Jones had them essentially in game-winning field goal position and one of the running backs fumbled? The basic Outback jacket would be great if it would be full khaki color. It would. I want to know... He's said, like, what jacket that is. I like it. It seems like it would be quite useful. What's going on, Andy? Have you ever shot a red deer? In real life, I have not. Hopefully, someday I'll get the opportunity. Did you see my 82 red deer in the red deer section? I saw a really tiny red deer posted somewhere. In classic, would it have been? Vikings got robbed. Wait, how'd they get robbed? I know there was a last second overtime field goal. I also have not watched the highlights from that game yet. So mad my Patriots lost. Yeah, running back fumbled. Wasn't Mac's fault. Was it against the... It was the Bills, right? Last year when Cam Newton fumbled, kind of getting down into scoring range. Fumbling strugs out there lately. I don't know. That's good, though. I, I think... um. I was surprised Mac Jones ended up falling to that point, but I think they got a pretty good uh, pick in him. The brown duck Mustang new jacket is the best for it, just wish it didn't have the colored shirt with the tie. His jacket is from Bob Allen Fashion circa 1970s. I like how you just know that offhand. Yeah, true, the, the shirt and tie doesn't quite fit. It would fit one of his random costume things that he'll do on occasion. The rest made a terrible call saying that Delvin Cook fumbled. He was down. Oh. I guess maybe there's a little bit of week one strugs from the refs as well. Kind of happens on occasion, but yeah, when it. It's never good when it comes down to like a ref call. Never the kind of thing you want to see. Oh, hi. Just for the sake of it, um, it is terrified. Shaking with fear. <laughs> I want to uh, take this shot here and make sure that I'm not just completely uh, out of practice or whatever. The fact that I can't seem to hit anything where I want. That looked a little better. Titans got blown out at home and Chandler Jones had five sacks. Yeah, he's on pace for <laughs> 85 now this year. Uh, JW, thank you for the super chat. Would you believe me if I said it's been 22 months? Has it really? I'm trying to do... So it was when I was doing the Red Dead streams. That's kind of... Yeah. That was late 2019, huh? That's insane, man. I would believe you when I think it through, but on the surface, that seems just impossible. Time flies, dude. It really does. It's crazy how that just sneaks up on you. Being from Wyoming, I was really hoping your Steelers would lose. Wait, why? 
I'm trying to figure out. I take it you're... Oh, wait. I'm thinking of Wisconsin. Green Bay, Wisconsin, right now, Wyoming? Yeah. All right, what... Does that make the Bills your team? I'm just... I'm still not quite figuring out what the specific thing is there. What's up, S? Are you ever going to play Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2005 Adventures? I know of 2006. Is there a 2005 one? I'm not actually sure what I'm doing for Throwback Thursday here. Um, so probably a little over a week from today I'm going to be moving, so I'm not trying to get a new uh, game delivered because moving addresses, I'm not sure which one to get it sent to, so I'm going to give it like a week or so to have all that figured out, and then I'll look into it. Um, I mentioned, I don't know if I ever made an official post about it, I mentioned Rocky Mountain Trophy Hunter 3 being uh, the next Throwback Thursday game, or it was going to be, but I cannot get it to run smoothly. I've shot a couple of things in the game, pretty much every time I do, it crashes. Half the time I try to do any action, it crashes. So I just had to give up on that one. Josh Allen's a Wyoming hero right now? Josh Allen's from Wyoming. I did not know that. Big Ben's getting old. That's the way it goes. It's going to be an interesting thing, though. I've talked about it before, um, probably even on streams. But I started watching football a little bit in 2004, but primarily in 2005. So my entire like memory of watching the Steelers is number seven under center or in the shotgun or whatever taking snaps like it's gonna be weird for me to eventually watch another quarterback starting for the Steelers like for what he's in his 18th year I've pretty much seen all of them I, I would have missed this rookie year kind of it's gonna be uh probably not the best how do you get the 338 is it mission only or can you straight up buy it in the store the Championship 338 is mission only, so you have to do the Stone Circle mission on Parquet. So you can look up guides, um, they'll tell you the map coordinates of where the Stone Circle locations are, and they'll also tell you what direction to look to shoot the target. It's pretty simple, it probably took me, with an ATV riding around it would have taken me less, but about an hour and a half, two hours to go through and do all that. I didn't realize I had the mission system off. So if you do it with the mission system off, all you gotta do is like get within render of those targets. But I went and shot them all, and then I had to go around and do it again. So it took me far, far longer than it should have. What's up, Joe? I am old? Yes, definitely. Oi. This rock has stopped me. Maybe you'll get Aaron Rodgers? I don't think the Steelers are the, the type of team to... Well, you know what, though? They've got an incredible defense. Now's not really the time to try to throw an up-and-coming quarterback in there. Like, if you could get a hold of an Aaron Rodgers, though, he looked terrible yesterday. Um, if you could get a hold of some, you know, good quarterback that's trying to go ring chasing, they probably could win maybe a couple of them. I am a Steeler fan in C-Plays. What's the biggest animal you shot in real life? I guess it would have been the nine point from my... Uh, first season of Cell Filming in 2019. The Rock. Dwayne Johnson himself just stuck his foot out and tripped me. Exercise can help a migraine? I've never heard that. I feel like it would be so hard to, like, take that initiative and start moving around when you feel like you just want to lay down. You're a Seattle fan? They had a, a pretty good start to their season as well. It's pretty well known the Colts aren't very good week one. They got smoked by the Jaguars, and that was their only win last year, but still, they look good as far as I could tell. Nice, Frank. Guess what time it is? I'm going to guess it's Beer 30 Acid. So there's a couple of bison over there. Saw three. Hmm. Let's shoot that. Not huge, but decent. I was on Medved in multiplayer the other day, and I saw what I thought for sure was the Diamond Caribou, like it, or Diamond Reindeer, rather. 
He had an estimate up to like 490 something. And it told me, so maybe we can get Diamond Caribou Revenge here. Similar species. I don't know why that guy's just chilling there, but wait, don't do it. Don't move around. Stand still. Eventually. What? I think that missed. This is a weird one. Like, I feel like half of our shots just aren't hitting where they should. That at least connected. I knew it, Acid. How's your lunch, Kyla? Would Finland base map be cool in the Hunter Call of the Wild? I don't know enough about like the game species and stuff for what would be on a Finland base map, but I'm sure it would be. 246 meters. I know that I aimed a little high on the other one. I mean, that was a hard shot. Oh, look at that. All right. Interesting. Shot a level five rock mountain elk and it was a troll go figure. Level five elk have been rude to me recently as well. Good, Kyle, I'm glad. Caribou are almost male Gensbuck levels of troll, which is kind of bad. Yet, I don't know, for some reason, it's not only the fact that like a lot of fives troll, it's the fact that so few times you get one that makes that number. Like, okay, so I guess the difference is certain species troll a lot, but you don't see a lot of max levels. You see tons of level five caribou and male Gensbuck, but so often they just aren't even close. Imagine a desert map. Rancho del Arroyo would like a word. Thoughts on the 270? I love it and I've used it for over a year. So the 270 has three different variations in Call of the Wild if you're on PC at least. Um, in my opinion, some of the best looking like weapon skins in the game. It just is kind of underpowered. It's sort of in that same category as the 6.5 for me. It probably could be considered a class 3 to 7 weapon. And if that were the case, all of a sudden, it is, like, a really great gun for access to your black buck. Um, are Lynx a class 3? I think so. I don't know, do you guys think a 270 would be overkill on Lynx in real life? Lynx can be, like, up to 100 pounds. I don't know. Could be about right. Imagine a game with no bugs, don't play Madden. Speaking of Madden Acid, the, uh, the free weekend's over, and I really don't know if I want to pay 60 bucks for it. I already uninstalled it, so I wouldn't be tempted. So, um... But it said through the 13th, so I thought that meant through the 13th. It won't let me play no more. I got to like top 350 though, on the leaderboard. Which makes me think the PC competition is not good. Which also is a reason that I don't want to pay 60 bucks for it. Had the most annoying troll, Greywolf 38.98. Those are... I, I'll always say this. Predator species, species that don't have like obvious antlers or whatever to be scored by those trolls are the worst because you can't know like you look at them they look like every other level nine they look like every other diamond and there's nothing to kind of give you an idea sometimes when you see take white for example they have three different diamond racks two of them i think are guaranteed diamond one a lot of times is a troll and if it has that rack you can set your expectations accordingly and if you do it like i do you kind of take the approach like, yeah, this is probably not a diamond. And when it makes it, it's just, you know, a nice surprise. Versus that, all you can do is hope it is going to be a diamond. And when it trolls and when it trolls and it's that close, it's uh, quite unfortunate. 270 will clap a lynx in our life? I mean, yeah, for sure. I'm just, uh, do you think it would be too much? It would depend on the, uh, the load, but I don't know. Might get it when it goes on a sale, but that's a huge maybe. Does does Madden ever go on sale? I I would guess that it's not till very late. Madden Mobile it is. I actually don't even hate uh, 22 this year. So I've, every year in the past when I played Madden, I pretty much would do Ultimate Team, and the reason is like I talk about the reason that I continue to play Call of Duty and Classic. Like it's all goal driven stuff, and when it comes to Ultimate Team you can improve your team and make it better. So, like, what I was doing during that free week weekend was just a normal head-to-head. -head. And, for instance, the Steelers' cornerbacks aren't super fast. So, 
if I were doing Ultimate Team, I could go and get myself a... Who even is a fast corner in the NFL right now? Patrick Peterson's old now. He used to be kind of the one. I don't know if Jalen Ramsey's fast. Well, anyway, you get my point. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's too pay to win now, so I was just playing the normal way, and I was enjoying it. My biggest deer in real life is a whitetail 13 point. Nice, man. One day I'll crack double digit points. I had it. I had a good, uh, a little streak going. I started with a five point, then I got a six, seven, eight, nine all in a row, and then I got a nine again. Broke the streak that I, uh, they weren't all back to back years, but that I had going for like 10 plus years. Do we take. Oh, there's a four there. Hi. Nice of you to drop by. Anyway, I was gonna say, do we take a level three caribou, but we can try to get them both. See if we can get the three and the four. Are Milligrizzlies rare? They're not incredibly rare, but they are like a proper rare still, if that makes any sense. DK Metcalf? <laughs> Isn't Poodle Baker a safety, though? He's all, He is fast, to be fair, but I don't think he's a corner, right? Uh, Danny, thank you for the super chat. I saw your 205 moose, actually. I saw you posted it in Discord. Nicely done, dude. White Rhyme Kill as well. Not too bad. All right, we're gonna go with the shoot first animal while second animal has its head down strategy here. Got that one, oh dear. Recoil probs. Got them both though, cool. There is a reason why when I was poking fun with the rant about green and yellow box 30 out six, because I already had that planned because the round nose 30 out six is green and yellow box. Big brain, look at you go. It is green and yellow box, you're right. Big smart, look at you. I'd say Jair Alexander is a good corner. He's good, but is he fast? That, that was all I, I mean, I definitely agree he's good. My whole thing was like looking for speed because Madden. I'm sure that, by the way, um, can somebody help me with this? Who was, who played opposite Jalen Ramsey on the Jags? I cannot think of that guy's name and it's been driving me insane. Maybe somebody knows. He's also no longer on the Jags, if I remember correctly. I feel like his name started with an A, but I just can't, can't figure it out. Which do you prefer out of the 30-06 or the 7 mil? I tend to prefer weapons that have a larger capacity, so I'd say the 30-06. The thing is, the 7 mil can take, you know, bison, lions, buffalo, like all those sorts of species. If you have a 300 or a 338 for those, then you're all good. But if you don't have that larger caliber, then I'd say 7 mil. Eli Apple, nah. It was, he was good too. Yeah, AJ Boye, that's it. Thank you. I was trying to, I can't remember who I was even having that conversation with, but I was trying to think of it and it just was not working. Prince of Mukamara, I'm proud of you for coming up with A names, so I'll give you that. Had to condense it with the character limit. Ah, lame. All right. Couple of caribou, so it's 7 a.m. Should we go and look for wolves? I mean, that doesn't really help with the whole 338 thing. Let's just go through the swamp and see what can happen. There should be moose and bison in this area. Wasn't a keep to leave, but twas not. Got all the A names, doing better than I was. I couldn't come up with anything. I just sat there. Sad. What weapon pack is the 30 odd six in? Would be weapon pack three, I think. Dante Jackson is the fastest corner in Madden, I believe. I don't even know who that is. I used to be so much better, and it was when I played Madden, like a lot, that I knew everybody in the league. I barely know all the Steelers players now, and it's it's because I don't see like all those depth charts and stuff every game. Favorite weaponry for Mexico? I tend to go with the I like the 20 gauge semi-automatic shotgun really more than the 16 gauge. I just bring the 16 because it, you know, was that map's weapon. Then something like 303 or M1, a 243 for coyotes, and a 22 for long shots on rabbits and turkeys and such. I see you guys. Hiding back there below the hill. Mac Jones is either smart or scared of Xavier Howard. Bill Belichick probably looked at him 
It was like... <laughs> I was going to try to do an impression. Listen, I know that you think you're a great quarterback, but you're going to want to stay away from Xavier Howard. I played against him for a lot of years, and he's just one of the best in the league, so... Just throw the other side, right? What was that, like a 2 out of 10? Can I speak another language? I can sort of speak Bill Belichick. Yes, I speak Flinglish. There you go. Thank you. I'm bilingual. I like how I just about mispronounced the word bilingual as well. Got a diamond mule here. Nice pickles. Yesterday I saw a guy spill his Scrabble words on the street road. I said, what's the word on the street? Oh my. Oh my. What the heck is happening? Was it my Bill Belichick impression? Could barely hear you. Yeah, the music was probably too loud, huh? Strugs. What's up, Tucker? Drilling rifle. Good. Only close range. I mean, if you can figure out the drop, it does fine at long range, but I just... I always prefer the weapons you can zero for farther out. By the way, now that I think of it, Acid, I can barely hear you means I did a good Bill, Bel Bill Belichick impression, because how many times has he had answers to questions that can't be understood? I was just way too quiet. Bill Belichick speaks quietly, alright? Oof. Broadside heart shot for days. That's what that was. I tried. I think I did good, but I guess nobody could hear me. <laughs> Go back and watch what it 30 minutes ish. I'll see if I approve of my own impression. It's getting three diamond keys in one hour, just insane luck? Yeah, I would say so. Pretty solid luck. Bill was so mad at Stevenson after that fumble, though. I bet he was. can barely hear you over the bear. 12 out of 12. I can hear just fine. We're good. I don't know if they're playing the Bengals this year, but after they lose, I'm sure they'll be on to Cincinnati. Got here late, Mrs. Palin. Hey, no worries, dude. We're just running around trying to find some stuff to take out with the new 338 we got our hands on. Anyone see the Steelers game? I saw that game. Was it Xavier and Howard? Asked? No, you said who it was. I feel like it wasn't Xavier and Howard. Maybe. I forget. <laughs> that was a decent Belichick impression. Now he got off sleep 12 foot east. Yes. <laughs> I like it. Danny, thank you for the super chat. Bill Belichick impression equals Flancho ASMR. Oh my. <laughs> I'll just do uh, weekly uh, Bill Belichick press conference ASMR sessions. I wonder how long I could... Because I... I'm not good at impressions because I tend to laugh at stuff that I say, which is not ideal for such things, but I wonder how long I could keep up a Bill Belichick impression doing a stream. Yeah, go aggressive. Come over here and make my life easier. I like turbo mod running around hip shotting. I feel like that's um, probably not the ideal way to play. This is one burnt cookie. I was afraid of that. I'm not gonna lie. They were they were like, you made us prepare this from a distance. You get the burnt one. If you're not wearing a sweatshirt with cut sleeves and cut sweatpants, then you are not Bill Belichick. I am, in fact, wearing my uh, one-of-a-kind creator shirt that Kyla made me. Got to gold. At least we're doing something right. On Twitch, make Belichick impression a channel point option? Yeah, I like it. Like, I was going to say 12 minutes. That's far too long. I'll practice. Something I add to my OnlyFans. Well, yeah, now that um, the only type of content is wholesome that's allowed. I think they reversed that, but I don't remember. Two messed up Diamond K Buffalo. Well, the good news is 
there are a lot of level 9 Cape Buffalo out there, so hopefully opportunity for redemption on such things. Matching. Matching indeed. At least they're not the same color. Just matching styles. Some people eat snails, they must not like fast food. So, uh... We talk about the game Second Extinction a decent amount on this channel, because Kyla and I play it on Xbox quite often, and I'll even play it on PC, and eventually, I'm gonna stream it. Probably on Twitch, actually definitely on Twitch, now that I think of it. Um, things tend to be said that are not super YouTube-friendly when playing such a game. But anyway, they have, like, um... Why can't I think of what that's called right now? Well, like, cargo. Like, ship cargo, train cargo. There's a word for that, and it's not coming to my mind right now. Anyway, they, on the side, some of them are labeled, like, S cargo, and then it's a snail as the O. Tis brilliant. On Twitch, yeah. I realized as soon as I started to say that. The Twitch or the Flantro channel? One of those two. I feel like Twitch is just the way to go at that point. Eh. Not necessarily acid. It's myself as well. It's just... You get into those... Situations with... Either like a Anki or whatever and it's... All focused. Shipping crates, that's the one. I want the game so bad I need... $30? Uh, Call of the Wild goes on sale pretty often, so maybe you could wait for a sale. I found a level 9 water buffalo, but a puma spooked it, and now I can't find it. Any tips on how to find it? So what I would do is figure out, like, on the map wherever you saw it at. That is a tiny bison track. Yeah, so figure out where, where you saw it, and then change the time to their drink time. Water buffalo drink from 10 to 1300. And just kind of check all water around where you saw it. It's It has to drink somewhere, right? So I would start to look for drink zones. The nice thing is, pumas at that time should be resting. So once they're in the rest zones, they're probably not going to impact your, your buffalo. The most absurd things ever. You have one particular insult that you really like that um I can't repeat here. See if we can get this fella to stay in real quick. Excuse you. Hi. Thank you. What? Why? Why do you do this to me? Odd. Wonder if that got him. Bow hunting is tough in Mexico. I still really haven't gotten to do a bunch of that on that map. We took the hawk edge there the one day, and it actually went pretty well, but it was just a bunch of long shots. It wasn't like proper bow hunting. Making you think? Good. Exercise the old noggin a little bit. What's up, Jacob? Have you tried the realism mode any? It has no hub or tracks. It's just like a real FPS? The realism mode? Or mod? Is that maybe what you meant? I'm not aware of a realism mode, so I assume there's a mod or something that's been made? I say way too many things while playing SE. There's all kinds of things that would be said. That was, uh, hopefully one of the last absurd traffic sounds to be in a stream. What's up, Canada man? Just found a 177 max rating bighorn sheep, but I can't find it. Not coming back, should I just wait? It sort of depends on the situation. If you're on... Actually, it doesn't matter what map you're on. If it's during their drink time, there's a decent chance that one of the predator species would have spooked it, either bobcat or mountain lion, depending on the map that you're on. And if that's the case, it's probably going to continue to spook it, but... If it was in a feed zone or a rest zone, yeah, it might be worth kind of sitting around and waiting. Never did figure out where that Maxwood Estimate 4 got to. 
We might, since we're right here, if we can, try to slot a long shot in. Should be liver or worse, I would think. I heard a rice burner? Yes. Favorite NFL team? I'm a Steeler fan myself. This fall, you say? That would be interesting. Yeah. I'd be a, a fan of such things. Hey, what's up, Theo? Good to see you, man. It's going pretty well. Danny, thank you for the super chat. Once again, no exercising brains. College does that too much. That's why I dropped out. My brain muscle was too small. I couldn't keep up. So I went and just found a way to do the same thing, but different every day. Where should I hunt links on Medved? If you're in my Discord, uh, Cashnip would be the one to ask. He's killed two super rare links and like 30 diamonds this year. But, man, that looked white for a second. Um, I know, like, the southeast is really good for them. And then the big lake in the east as well can, can do uh, pretty well. Small, small indeed. Got an 8.8 .8 Bobcat in Classic, not too bad. I messed up four diamonds on Mexico. Hopefully your uh, luck can kind of turn around there and start to get them. So yesterday I got a small albino whitetail and I'm trying to get a melanistic and a piebald. But what are the chances of finding them? So if I understand correctly, uh, it goes piebald, albino, melanistic in terms of like most common to most rare. So technically you got the kind of the middle one. The odds of finding a piebald definitely aren't bad. As far as melanistic, I killed 1600 whitetail on my latent great one grind and never got a mela. So clearly the odds aren't great for that one. The same day you got your ochre peccary, I got it shortly after, did you? Cause mine was a multiplayer game. Makes sense. So, I had this happen, um, where I had the same animal twice. I joined a multiplayer server on Rancho, uh, was down in the southeast part of the map, and I shot a, I forgot I was going to look for that moose, I don't even remember where it was. Anyway, shot like a level 3 melanistic mule deer buck with a kind of a unique rack. For whatever reason, I think I didn't want that time of day, I joined another rancho map and I was running around decided to kind of go into the same area for whatever reason and I saw that melanistic buck again and I think in all the time I've spent playing Call of the Wild that was the first time I've ever had the same animal in back-to-back -back multiplayer servers and I didn't shoot it the second time but I never really thought of how that works especially when a new map comes out like if I host a game and then anybody joins then I leave, and maybe I gotta go make dinner and get back on 20 minutes later. My server's kind of duplicated, you know what I mean? Like, anybody that's in that previous server, as long as somebody stayed in it, it's still up, all those animals are there, but then I'm also hosting my same server with the same population of animals as another option that's joinable. It's really, I never thought of that happening, like the fact that Silver, Silver? <laughs> server ownership transfers but that is absolutely a thing that can happen and what sucks is you don't know unless you find something like that like a rare or a unique racked animal in that same spot you wouldn't even know you're hunting the exact same population of animals really where are whitetail zones in Layton? they've changed a good bit um, since the rancho update and quite honestly I don't know them super well I found a bunch of whitetail along the eastern coast of the map. A lot of the eastern lakes have them too, and Runaki and stuff still has whitetail, as it always has. But they're a lot more spread out than they've been. In over 11k whitetail kills, I shot 5 millibucks and a couple does. Yeah, they gotta be rare. Um, 
I killed a couple of Melodos this year. My last Mellow Whitetail buck was probably a couple of months after True Rax came out. It was, it's in like my first lodge, it's on the old scoring system. I could go and look if I could figure out which lodge it's in now. It was a silver like, I don't know, 170s-ish buck. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird that that can even happen, Mel. It's, I, it amazes me that I never had it happen before, quite honestly, because I spent a bunch of time in multiplayer over the years, and I'm fully certain that I would be, maybe it even has happened and I didn't know, but I'm 100% sure that I've been on servers that had the same population, like left one, join another, and it was the same one, but I just wouldn't have realized maybe there's no diamond or no rare to get my attention. And who knows, like, how much time I'm wasting, because I'm probably hunting the same spots. I'm probably going for the same species, you know? Is the tracker thing in the game? I'm gonna load up. Is the tracker... I don't know what you mean. Got a silver buck on Rancho, but lost with a bug update. I don't even know what to make of that. Like, I'm not sure if they were supposed to be the rares that they showed up as. Like, it's just all... All a bit of a mess with that one. Got some pretty small caribou today, I must say. I don't know how to get close enough to a lynx to take this dumb picture for the mission. When I did that one, I don't even remember why. I was randomly crawling forward, looking for something else, and then I realized there was a lynx just resting right in front of me. I got really lucky with that one. I'm just like, wait a minute. That's not right. Wait. There's a moose roost. What's going on? Have you fed your pet moose today? Are there any lakes you recommend for water buffalo or just hunt all of them? So the east coast of Parque Fernando is by far the best for water buffalo. If you start like as far south as you can get along that water and go pretty much all the way north, you're going to run into a ton of buffalo on your way along there. And then the lakes in... Let me think of the name of it. I can't think of the region in the southeast, but there's a couple of lakes down there, like the two lakes in the southeast. And then up in, is it Lago Bebe, I think, like up further east, tends to do pretty well. Just killed a silver melon stick on Rancho. Nice, Gary. Love your videos. Well, thank you, man. I do appreciate that. What do you want added next to Call of the Wild? I feel like we're due for... Like, another species. We just got access to your added to the Hunter Classic, and... It should be a, around now-ish. The thing is, like, the delay to console may have messed things up. But we're in that period where... We're almost halfway between the... Summer map release and the winter map release. And usually there's like a weapon pack or a new species. Bloodhounds was the spring uh, thing this year. Like something in that middle part. We're around there. So something should be releasing uh, like a smaller thing. So when you say next, I'm thinking like those kinds of terms. Um, either dollar sheep to this map, which I don't find incredibly likely. Maybe Coos to your Durancho would be really cool. Or to go to a weapon pack, like, I've people ask me what weapon I want to see next. My answer isn't a specific weapon as much as it's just, like, I want a gun that I can zero for 400 meters. Like, let me just have a long-range specific weapon. I don't care what caliber it is. I just want to shoot stuff, like, really far away and kind of have that challenge. I don't know. The challenge of having to aim high is one thing. I think trying to find a way to get as far away as possible. Like, all the above shot a diamond mountain go to 500 meters. Like, I want to try to do stuff like that where I can zero and... I guess make it more about getting those shot opportunities than actually landing the shot by aiming high correctly. I don't know if that makes sense, but... We have a lot of spots where we can shoot well over 400, and I think being able to zero for 400 would be nice. Did you get the update today? Not aware of any updates happening today. 
I feel for a new weapon pack, a whole bunch of new lever action weapons would be good. Yeah, um, minus the 10 gauge, I think. The only two lever action weapons in the game were base game, the 3030 and the 4570. Thanks for the Blue Yeti settings you gave me earlier. I've been really enjoying the microphone so far. That's good, man. Glad to hear it. Mine, it was just a, it's funny actually, a lot of my old videos from around late 2018, I had the microphone turned the wrong way. So it was actually messing with settings while the microphone was turned the wrong way that I actually uh, got it to where it is. But I'm glad they're working for you as well. Hi. Getting the cap? What is the cap? Wish for a new update they would add animal render distance to a thousand meters. So the big issue with that is a lot of people's hardware simply could not handle that. Um, consoles struggle already enough as it is. I could not imagine more than doubling the render, what that would do to lower end, not even lower end PCs, probably even middle of the road PCs and below and then all consoles would struggle mightily with such things. Rip to Sundays on this command. I So, um, the reason, like you can only have so many characters in a message and because I have the follow on Twitch message there, I can't fit the Sunday thing in. I don't know what's... You're, you're a mod. You're the one doing the commands. So let me know what you think of this. The immediate thing after three of those streams saying they're on Twitch is what's the Twitch. So then, you know, you're doing the Twitch command or whatever. So, I don't know. If you think that's not an issue, we can switch that around. This would be a good time to add a 308 to the game. A lot of people want one. The 308s, especially since they buffed them in Classic, are quite good. I think it'd be a, a good caliber to add. I don't see a reason why not. An M4 type weapon? Eh. I don't think that has a lot of place in a hunting game, personally. Just kind of my my own uh, philosophy there. It's a, a personal opinion more so than one that I think would be community-wide, I tend to think that something like that may make the game a little bit too easy and that would be a problem. I like how I'm chasing Red Fox again. Who would have thought? The word EST and Twitcher said a lot in that command. Maybe we could cut down on that as well. I'll try to reword it and see. That was, I think, an egg white wolf or... Goodness. All kinds of stuff's going on here. Probably the only time I'll hit an open sight shot this week. That's nice. Presence? Whoa. We need a rifle that can shoot classes 1 to 3. Yeah, so like the... Um, the idea of a 22-250 or a 17 HMR or something like that would probably work. Okay, these are fox tracks. Was one of them albino? I swear I saw... It could have been like a lighter colored female. But I swear I saw like a light colored fox. Or a light colored animal. Run through. Common female. Unless it's the other 8 to 12. Which would be awesome. Like a... Decent chance of being a gold male. But... I'm... Guessing it was just... A light colored female. Yeah, I think so. Another 7 though. My fox spawns are better now. Probably because I killed that legendary that was probably hanging on my map for the entire time I was doing that grind. Where'd they go? Okay. Disappearing foxes. That's a, a species I was not prepared to hunt today. Do said presents include 12 point drop time whiskey? Do you want it that badly that you want it to be a, a present? 17 would be a good idea than the and the 22 250 yeah i think they both could be decent weapons i'm not sure about one to three necessarily 
Osprey's pushing it. But yeah, one to two anyway. I think it'd be reasonable. Do I do any type of IRL fishing? Um, a little bit. I think, uh, God, since like 2019, I've literally caught one fish. And it was my first cast on a camping trip with Kyla this past summer. I don't do a ton of fishing. Hello there. Mr. Max White Wolf, as we're apparently just losing track of those red fox. What's this new 338? So it's not new. It's just new to us. Um, so it's a mission reward from Parque Fernando. If you do the Stone Circle Challenge, which is essentially... It's really an exploration challenge. Um, there are 15 different stone circles on Parque, and when you step in them, a target kind of becomes visible in the distance somewhere, and you can shoot that. And shooting that target will... Like, complete that particular one. When you do all 15, you get the championship edition of the 338. So it's the exact same as the Range Master, just looks a little nicer. Um, but I like it. I want to kill something cool with it. I'm hoping to come across a big moose, a big bison, big grizzly bear, or a rare of any of those species. And we're just kind of, you know, chasing other stuff as we go along. Christmas gift, you say? They should put in gray squirrels? So, um, I do like the idea. Some type of tree species would be neat. And I guess they could make him just stay on the ground. The potential issue with squirrels or, like, say, mountain lions climbing trees is if we look at the trunk of this tree right here. We see it's 15 meters, we can go up a little further, and eventually here, we're going to start to... Wow, this one goes all the way up. Okay, use this kind of tree. There we go. We get to a point where the tree doesn't have a hitbox anymore. That one goes extremely high. Most don't go nearly that high, I'm not sure why that tree model does. Oh yeah, I do. I think the reason they are like that is because they bend a lot in the wind. But yeah, a lot of trees don't have a super high hitbox, and I think squirrels climbing trees and stuff, like making that work with no collision could be an issue. Kyla didn't catch any fish. It was unfortunate. That hole... She would have. Both of us would have caught a bunch, really. I didn't know that it was like the twelfth time they were stocking that, um... That particular creek that summer. I had no clue. Uh, I just wanted to go up there because it's one of my favorite places to camp. We hiked into our spot. What did we figure? Like a quarter to a half a mile, Kyla? Something like that? Probably somewhere in between. Uh, made three or four trips to carry in the tent and like all the different stuff that we were bringing in for... I don't remember. Was it an overnight trip? I think it was just one night. Anyway. Made all this effort. Caught one fish. The next morning, we went on a drive to literally just, like, text our parents, like, hey, we didn't die overnight. And while we did that, they, <laughs> like, we kept on seeing all these vehicles. We're like, what is happening? Turns out they were stocking fish, like I said. And, yeah, don't worry about our all of our camming equipment being right there. These, uh, <laughs> I think it was three guys just hung out. 20 yards from where we were camping all morning. It was fantastic. I loved it. I definitely didn't want to fish in that best spot on the entire creek or anything. That's not why we camped there. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Big rip. Mine it died. Mine's been doing that a lot lately. And it worries me. Although I guess I don't need to worry about it too much because I'm switching providers here when I move. It'll be fine. What is the max level for Call of the Wild? As a player level? Level 60. Until like 3 p.m. It was... Yeah! So, like that... That creek is decent size. But the spot that we were at, it's just this huge, like, deep hole. It's amazing. 
and it's got this big rock that comes out over it so you can sit on that rock you can fish with live bait you can fish with lures it's a great spot especially you know if, if you're just trying to hang out for a while you don't want to actively fish necessarily you know throw a wax worm on there throw it out i think that's what i caught that fish on it was like two wax worms and a might have been power bait which i rarely used i think it was just two wax worms but uh yeah we we left for a little while they threw like 20 fish in there the guys all caught them all and then they literally stayed there until we packed up to leave where are you moving to? Not too far from here, actually. Just getting a house instead of a apartment. Been essentially, you know, every every month paying rent, sort of losing out on that money. As far as the house goes, it's ultimately an investment. So I think that'll be a good thing. Plus, this this is a very small apartment that I've been in for three years. Need a change of scenery. Good times, professional fisherman. It was great. Kyla said, show me how it's done. So I cast it out, caught a fish, and then that was it. Didn't catch a single fish after that. Need a fly rod? What, so I could catch the guys that were standing there? In all seriousness, I have a fly rod. I'm just not good at it. I never got to spend enough time to learn. I don't like trout fishing for that reason. People are crazy. It's so true. I I really love trout fishing. Like I I prefer them over bass specifically because they're a little more picky. Like you're pretty much always in moving water, and you can fish moving water for for bass as well. But I just like that kind of thing. Like the areas that you trout fish. If you're like walking down a creek or whatever, you always just get into such cool spots. Whereas if you're bass fishing, a lot of times you're like at a farm pond or something, you know? But especially like early in the season, first day, or stock days. People are just... <laughs> trout aren't even... Especially stock trout, they're not good fish to eat. But people go catch their limit and fish out the holes. <laughs> it was a good timing. It was... It was... I was so proud. First time I ever went fishing with you, the, the first cast I caught a fish, and that was it. Red Dead Redemption 2 has decent fishing. I like the fishing in that game. Speaking of that, um, here in about an hour and 15 minutes, the VOD from yesterday's Red Dead stream is going to be up on my second channel. There is a moment, which I have timestamped in the description, I hope. I've never tried the timestamp thing in the description before. I think I did it right. But, uh, I don't know if I want to spoil it for those of you that haven't seen it. It was just hilarious. I I laughed so hard. It's like if you watch the entire thing, it would be like seven minutes. If you just click on the two different time stamps, you could probably watch it in two minutes. It made me laugh so much. I heard on the Mediator podcast that PA can't hunt Sunday, but that may be changing. Yet, um, give it a couple of years, it's going to change. They're slowly working it in right now, and that's essentially to not upset the people that don't want Sunday hunting. So, up until two years ago? No. Up until last year, there was no Sunday hunting. Last year, there was a Sunday in archery season, a Sunday in the bear rifle season, and a Sunday in like the regular deer firearm season where you could hunt. And I think this year it's the same, but it's slowly going to increase to where all Sundays can be. Thought fly fishing was for old people. It's the way to catch, especially trout, but like most fish species. It's the way to catch them when you get into like the summer and stuff, when it's hotter. But you just got to learn how to do it. Casting and everything is such a big thing. And I, like I said, I just never... I don't get to go enough to learn how. <laughs> That's my problem. What are the three Sundays that we can hunt this year? It should be the three back-to-back -back ones again. If archery season runs an extra week, which I think it does, it should be... I want to say the last day of archery season should be a Sunday, and then that Sunday in bear season, and then the first Sunday in rifle season, if they do it the same. Down here in South Florida, saltwater is the prime topic. Yeah, I'm sure that's 
priority for most people. What's up, Lucas? Sorry I'm late, I had school, no worries. Need to do some Fishing Planet videos? I just... I can't get into that game. I've tried. It's cool. It's just not my kind of... My kind of game to spend enough time in to make a full video, I guess. Another Max Weight Wolf track. The last one was a 7, and then I was talking, and then... I feel like we've just been running ever since then. Maybe we can go and find this one. I would teach you fly fishing, but I'm from England. <laughs> you can quite literally cast across the pond. And I will watch your form. What's so bad about Sunday hunting? Um, Before I go on my tangent here. May or may not take a nap. I know you need it, Kyla. Take a nap. We'll be here. Just chilling. Get that sleep. Drive fishing plane, I was mega bored. Exactly. Anyway, so Sunday hunting, the opposition to it, there's two sides of it. I believe there's some religious aspect of it where either like I think there's some subset of like the hunting population that the sort of idea is animals deserve a break on Sundays from being hunted as well, which I guess I kind of get, but there's also like a set part of the year only where you can hunt them, so does it make that big of a difference? I don't know, maybe it does. I think the other, like the main opposition though, is property owners. As far as I know, like it, they don't want to necessarily say if they go to church on Sundays or something, they don't want people to be able to trespass on their land knowing that they won't be there. I think that's where it comes from. From what I understand, it's property owners that are kind of opposing it. I don't know specifically why, but that's that's kind of my grasp of the situation. But here's my thing. Hunting in general is being looked down upon more, I would say, than it ever has been. And a lot of people work. A lot of people work like six days a week. A lot of people's only day off Sunday. They have an opportunity to go hunt, and they can't in PA because the, <laughs> the law says you can't. I think they should get that opportunity to go if they have those days off. Sounds pretty stupid. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a... <laughs> not saying it makes a lot of sense. I'm just going with the understanding I have of the... the topic and the situation. There was a wolf call. Where'd they go? Excuse me? I've been... Bamboozled. What the heck? We'll figure it out eventually. Can you do another Great One Grind vid? I'll probably do another one here soon. I was going to actually do Great One Grind stuff today, but we've done a, a good bit of Great One content. I wanted to switch it up. I really wanted to take this 338 out again, but just we can't quite seem to find anything special with it. Good explaining. Hopefully it was... Understandable at the very least. That's saying... Going this way... I don't even see the next track. Okay. And then what? Nothing. They disappeared. There was that... Maybe they're down here further. Finally made it to your stream I had school. No worries, man. Glad you could drop in, though. We can't hunt Sundays either. It's... Like I said, it's changing PA. I wouldn't be surprised if it changes pretty much everywhere where it's not allowed, but... I think... Ultimately, it comes down to that opportunity kind of thing, and it's important to get as many hunters an opportunity as possible, so... I say they go for it. Okay. I see wolves. I see no... Max Waitus my wolves? What? Why do you guys do this to me? Why you hide the big males, huh? Turn. Why, oh, thank you. Trying to stay awake. Take a nap. I'll go hunt, um... I'll go play classic. Put you right to sleep. 
have not used the dog once like me he's met yet. The main reason I have him with me is should I shoot like a diamond something and it doesn't leave tracks, then I want the dog to be able to track him. And it's not like the dog really negatively impacts anything. It's only on occasion like where he'll run into him, run into you and push you or stand in front of you and get the invalid target message. Otherwise, he's just there. What tortoise? All right. Is Rancho worth it for console? So, I know Rancho has like a lot of FPS issues on console, but it sounds like EW's working on that. There's apparently, isn't there a patch like this week? There's that guy's track again. Doing pretty good at hiding. Anyway, I don't know if that patch that I just referenced, whenever it's gonna be, uh, don't quote me on it being this week, but I thought it was supposed to be. I don't know if it is going to fix the FPS issues, but at the very least they are trying to fix those things. What's up, Rebecca? Glad it's not a thing here, the Sunday hunting thing? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's something you get used to. Um, and I will say this, I don't mind having a day off. Like, if I hunt in rifle season all day every day, and, you know, most of the hunting here is sitting in a tree stand. I'm alright to sleep in, stay in my warm bed for a little bit longer, but... When you only get so long, especially in the rut like in archery season, let me go out there every day. Every day that I've got wind in my favor or a cold front, high pressure days, like, I want to be in the stand, not wishing that I could be. I think we got that too. Mexico doesn't feel like a good reserve. You know, I like it. It's, um... It's different. It's more of small game focused, I think, but... It's also the best whitetail map, so if you like whitetail or want to go for a great one, it's just simply the way to go there. I'd hate the not hunting on Sunday. My only days off are Sundays and Mondays. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, the more opportunities for hunters to get out there, the better. You know, we don't have to shoot female wolves anymore. We got our albino. Cool. First time we've been out here really since then. What was I going to say? Oh, you know what? So, the other nice thing is, because I'm a football fan, NFL fan specifically, and hunting season and football season is pretty much entirely concurrent, I do get to stay home and watch the games when there's no... Uh, Sunday hunting, but last year, the first day of rifle season, one of the best things all day was checking the scores, following fantasy. Like, that got me through the day in a big way, and if you're if you're gonna sit all day, you need something to do. Whether it's read a book, whether it's you know, whatever you do to keep yourself in the tree stand, I, I won't list out every possible thing, but yeah, like scrolling through something on your phone. If it's checking scores, if you got enough service watching highlight plays with hopefully the volume off, I think that's a pretty good way to, you know, pass a long day and maybe keep you in the stand long enough to smoke a buck that you otherwise would have missed out on. Our whole economy is something, so that won't happen here. It's a solid economy then. Wow. Wow. Did I? Yeah. What a unique and varied pack of wolves. I don't even think I'm going to shoot that. I would rather shoot a random level 5 male and get that to respawn than one of five level 3 females. That's ridiculous. I've never seen a pack like that. Do you ever use the 9.3 ammo in game? So right now... Unless they fix it and I wasn't aware, the drilling rifle is glitched to where you can't switch which barrel you use. And I think you're stuck using the shotgun. Or maybe you are stuck to only the 9.3. Either way, the gun is very much limited in the fact that it's glitched right now. If they fix it, I'll take it out for a hunt eventually. But yeah, especially lately, I, I haven't used it. Has your call while been crashing a lot lately on PC? It's been 
pretty solid for me. I actually don't, other than like switching trophy lodges, that causes crashes a lot for me. I don't remember the last crash that I had. Just wait, we got 45 minutes left in the stream, it'll crash now. But um, if you're crashing a lot, what I might recommend, how'd you get over there? A little sneaky bugger. Anyway, what I might recommend is turning off the Hunt Club beta. Thought something moved down there? I guess not. Alright, let's go check a couple of these good moose lakes. Oi! What's going on, Sean Johns? Hope you're doing well. I can't wait to change the song playlist. Can make it all new. I'm on PS5 and have been able to use both the 9.3 as well as the shotgun ammo. Really? Maybe I'll have to check it out. Yay, moose. This has been a good moose lake. Um, I've shot some big ones. Nothing has quite made diamond. I think this one or the one beside it's uh, been kind to Kyla for rare moose, which I'd probably prefer over a diamond, quite honestly. Oof. Wobbly weapon probs. We hit him. Did we get him in a lung, though? I don't think so. What's up, Cameron? You're my favorite YouTuber. Well, thank you, man. I'm honored to have such a title. Doing good. Had a few free minutes. So tune in to my Load Up Classic. Oh, nice. What you gonna do on Classic? Let me guess. Axis Deer. Gonna shoot a super rare Axis Deer. I'm still jealous of your super rare Kayo, by the way. One of the cooler things that I've seen taken in a while. Xbox has been very greedy with the membership. $60 a year is now $120 a year, not including Game Pass. Is it really? See, I really think that's where they get you. And if you're in my Discord, Psycho will... Uh, that's a good name for when I'm going to talk about somebody that's going to argue a certain thing. But Psycho and all my moderators will argue uh, quite well that PC is just the way to go in gaming. And I definitely understand, like, you know, console's a lot cheaper, but when you start having to pay, if it's if it's actually a hundred bucks a year for a membership, so you pay your five hundred bucks for a console, say you keep that console for four years, if you're paying a hundred bucks a year, you're, you're already in about a thousand dollars to, I mean, you can get a PC that's going to do that, and you don't have to pay for a membership, probably for less. At 60, it, I could still see the console being the way to go, but then again, a PC tends to last longer, too. Not going after Axis. Gonna check out the stand where I got that rare yoke. Figures. Get you another super rare. What's up, Cameron? Hopefully I have a good start to your archery season. Our starts this Saturday down here in the special reg area in southeastern PA. Unfortunately, it's gonna be like 80 degrees. Oh, jeez. Yeah, deer might not like to move too much during that. Maybe early morning or late in the evening they'll try to scoot out and feed somewhere. That's a... Uh, I didn't realize it was starting already. That's cool. If you're heading out, I'm not sure due to the weather if that's your plan, but if you're heading out, good luck to you as well. Do you ever host multiplayer games on Call of the Wild? So, it's rare that I host my own maps only because... Generally, like, I, you know, I like to stream and, you know, just have my maps to go after and get respawns, and that's kind of like, that's where I get the majority of my respawns. Monday and Friday live streams, whatever maps we go on. The rest of the days, if I do multiplayer, I'm probably joining a multiplayer game. Now, quite often, I'll end up being, like, the I'll join a multiplayer game and eventually the host leaves. And then, <laughs> what happens is, somebody will join, or a couple people will join, and <laughs> a lot of people are just convinced it's not me, because I'm the host of the game. And fair enough, I don't host multiplayer games, but the host left, so now I'm showing as the host. 
I'm not actually hosting my map, but it is me. My gold account has been active for around 13 years. I hope I've canceled mine. Surely I have. Yeah, because I'm signed in with the same... Whoa. <laughs> the same account on uh, Xbox One now as I was on 360. So this area is good for moose as well. We went through here for bison. We didn't see that many moose. Can't in the morning, unfortunately. I don't know about you. Um, I've had... With whatever... I've lost track. I think I've shot 24 deer. Um, in Let's say it is 24. Of those 24, like, three were morning kills. I've always had a lot better luck in the evenings anyway. Especially early season. I'm gonna need your best explanation for why a blank caliber is more slash less powerful than blank. I may be screen recording. Alright, let me think here for a second. Do you want... I'll, I'll, I'll do something that'll let you, let you Paul Harrell this. Do you want the 30 out 6 in there? I think that'll be more fun. Ooh. I have a plan. Let me... Let me look through my options here. Hmm. <laughs> I need something that's gonna compare. I'm gonna do this in terms of Call of the Wild a little bit. Forty eleven. Is the forty four? Nah. Okay. You see, the three fifty seven Magnum is basically just as powerful as a thirty out six. The reason is the hard cast bullets. You got that big, thick round, a little, a little more diameter than a 30 out six. You got that 30 caliber versus the 357. Simply for that reason and no other reason, don't factor in anything else because you don't need to. All you need to look at is a penetration stat. If we look at it, we've got 40 for the 30 out six. And we've got 50 for the 357. So basically, the 357 is just as powerful as a 30 out 6. Why are you talking like that? Because <laughs> I need to sound like a fake expert for Hunter Man. My RGB just turned off. Why does my PC hate me? Okay, Kyla. <laughs> Immediately go to hate, huh? Just wondering the same thing. Don't worry about it, corpse. It's all for a video. I don't know why I'm doing it on stream, but I've been asked to. How did... Do you ever shoot vitals on the three wolves? Is that a mission or something? Oh. There's one good one in there. Perfect. I got you, Hunter Man. Practicing for the IRL videos? I do a different voice for the IRL videos. It's all... Like, I don't know if it's a good thing. A little, little, uh... Steve Vernella esque perhaps, but most of my IRL narrations are fully scripted now. I used to sort of do bullet points. I like the way they turn out, I don't know. Welcome back, Billy. Imagine I had a nitro full metal jacket for rabbits. That might be a little overkill, but you know. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Do I have. Uh, he's gonna turn. I think I have the moose call today, but should be all right. We just gotta have the cow moose drink. Just strap him right there, it'll be all good. If he talks like that in the IRL videos, I'll just laugh behind the camera. Just so you know, my entire goal is gonna be to make you laugh all the time. I'm not Kyla, though. Man, you could have fooled me. Nice gut shot there. That's definitely what we're after. There's the secret to big male albino melanistic mountain mule deer on Yukon, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. Do tell me more. That's not professional business, Ali. Oh, right, right, right. Listen, sometimes I... You know, unfortunately, due to lack of funding, I had to downgrade as far as, you know, photographer and videographer goes. And sometimes I forget, you know, that it's got to be strictly business. 
Otherwise, gonna be lacking in funding again, and then what am I gonna do? Challenging mode for y'all, get the 30 odd six. The 36 mil? That would be an absurdly large caliber. I'm pretty sure you mean the 30 odd six. What's up, Hunter? Finally got a live stream? It's been an interesting one. We're just kind of running around shooting a little bit of everything today. It's a secret for a reason. I can't just go and tell you everything about it. I gave you all my secrets to play in Classic, and this is how you treat me. <laughs> what a hashtag. In your bio and all. How do you get the... OG? The OG what? Why am I not verified? I am. I want a 40 mil cannon for deer. I would like to gut them with my shot, please. The 6 mil? The the original biggest gun, the 7 mil. I assume. Unless you mean the 338, but it's not a... I don't think that would make sense. Is that pronounced Andres or Andres? One of the two, probably. How's it going, man? Could I run Classic on a MacBook Air? Uh, as far as I know, like MacBooks and iOS in general really doesn't handle games well. I Maybe somebody knows better than me, but I wouldn't think so. Do you play The Forest? There actually are something like six The Forest videos on my channel. Um, man, this would have been three and a half, four years ago. I'd sort of attempted to do a playthrough. I'm just not good with that specific type of game. I think me and Kyla should play it. She's, uh, as far as, like, scary movies and stuff go, I I'd never really watched much of any of such things, and that's one of our pastimes now is watching scary movies, so... Maybe I won't be so scared if I played The Forest again. I like that game a lot. Like, the crafting and stuff is cool. I just, <laughs> I would make a camp and then just hide there forever. Until I got too scared and quit. You see Bigfoot got a new update? I also did not see that Halloween stream, though. That's another one. I'll need to get Kyla a PC. We'll play it together. Remington green and yellow box, 147 green. Flat nose, soft points need to be added. I like when he says... I tried my best to say it quickly, but I like how he has to say green and yellow box super fast. I don't know why. What's up, Ben? Thank you for the super chat. No diamonds thus far today. We've shot a mythical gray wolf. That's probably been about the closest thing to diamond. A couple of level four, like moose, bison, uh, pretty nice level four caribou, a couple of level seven red fox. I think we only shot one, but we saw two. Slow day as far as big males, but that's kind of the way it goes as well, especially with the map that we were grinding red fox on forever. Like, we haven't shot much on Yukon minus those fox, so it's only now going to be kind of working on respawns. I was wondering if there might be something good out there. I don't know, Kylie. You have to wait and see. Kind of depends. Depends on uh, the way things go. Just bought it last night. I haven't played that in probably three years as well. There's a couple of videos of that on my channel as well, and um, we would have beat it at the time. We would have killed Bigfoot, which is, I think, the goal. Or maybe we would have gotten all his health down and then he does something else. I actually don't know what happens when you get his health to zero, but he like glitched into a mountain. And then we restarted the server and stuff, and he was just forever glitched in there. So, that was cool. And then I never did beat it. Kyla streams. You were a professional when it came to carnivores, just saying. You wouldn't have to wait until cross-platform to come out to record SE? Well, apparently, Acid was going to explain it to me. Somehow he, from his PC, was able to invite Kyla to, like, a... to join the lobby 
on Xbox. So I think there's some way of doing it as we speak. I just need to learn. You already said you would. Committed to it. No getting out of it now. Don't have to wait exactly. I just need someone to teach me the way. Playing Yukon right now. Um, tired of running the same old route plus traveling all over to output slash tense. Give me time, start position, and where I'm going to end. No shortcuts. Hey. I shot that blind. I Like, I looked, and then I looked over to start reading that. I wasn't sure if we dropped it or not. Anyway. You want, like, a different route, essentially? And a start time. I think that's what I'm understanding. All right. Let's... I don't think enough people hunt, like, this area right here, the very starting area. So, I say, start here, 5 a.m., do a loop around all these lakes till you get, like, south of this one, and then scoot up into the Crimson Plain. I'd go back and forth between all the lakes, but, you know, follow the road, whatever you want to do there. And then, all the way across the road... Wolf Lake, Wolfhead Lake, and then up to this lookout. And I'll give you a chance to see just about everything on the map. Hopefully that's a different route for you. And uh, maybe it'll take you through some area that you haven't been for a little while. I didn't see who said it, but yeah, we're not going to do that. Nope, nope, nope. Can tell you after the stream if you want. Uh, honestly, things are going to get pretty busy here for a couple of weeks. I probably don't need to know till after that, but I mean, if you have time. Sounds like a type of mushroom. It kind of does. My first level 5 moose was literally like 150 meters from the outpost. Had I not ran away and walked back, I never would have known because it was invisible. I wonder, like, in multiplayer, how many times have there been, like, invisible diamonds that have run right past, you know? I'm sure it happens a lot. Got all the time in the world, but do you have all the money in the world? Because time is money. Take five minutes? Is it just like installing that application or whatever that looks like a decent one back there excuse me sir oh not even a four well don't listen to me then exactly kyla what's the best time to hunt black buck their drink time is 9 to 12 on parquet so personally i'd go with that Personally, I'd like to hard shot moose when I attempt such things, but it doesn't always work out that way, apparently. It's been kind of weird. Our We had a couple of shots where we didn't hit hard, but I still thought it should have gotten a lung and just it didn't. Interesting stuff. Sometime in September? I mean, we gotta be right around here somewhere. <laughs> Divine Panda, thank you for the super chat. Hello, hope you get a diamond. I hope we do as well, and thank you for that. It is appreciated. Kilakai coming at you live. 12.12 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ready for the biggest of male T-Rex kills or something. Let Chaos Reign release the hamsters of war. Excuse me, what? Is that the peccaries when they run you over on Rancho? I think that's what it is. How long has it taken Flinter to memorize drink times for all animals in the game for every map? Well, the thing is, when I started, there were only... Well, okay. There were only two maps, but I didn't even understand drink times till probably Verhunga. So there were four maps. But I kind of... You know, drink, drink times were kind of simple at the beginning. You really had only a couple of slots, like it was 5 to 9, 9 to 13, 13 to 17, 17 to 21, and then 21 to midnight. 
I think then midnight to 5 a.m. Like there were, there's a lot more options now. But when it originally started, it was only like those slots the different zones could fit in. So it was kind of easy to get caught up to the four maps and then just slowly, you know, a map gets added, sort of figure out the drink times and then I'm good. Yes to the 12 12. We're gonna have to do another 12 hour stream one of these days. Hopefully, a day where you're not gonna have such migraine drugs. I'm trying to think, where even are Bull Moose on this map? We looked up there. Do they drink here? I wonder. We'll go and learn. No, we won't. We can't click fast travel. Can we adopt you, JK, JK, and less? Poppy first, then we'll uh, consider adopting online strangers. There's a few I don't remember, like Wildebeest and Kudu. Yeah, I'm the same way. Um, I'll, I, I don't know almost any nighttime drink times, other than like predator species that it's just the best to hunt them at night. Like I know all of these, say, like, bobcats and coyotes and bears, stuff like that. But, for instance, Red Deer on Quattro has some nighttime drink times. I don't know when that is. Wildebeest, Kudu, um... I'm sure there's other stuff. I don't know any of the Rancho nighttime drink zones, if there are any. Moose in the middle and top left. We've been to the middle. Does this count as top left? What have you gotten today? Nothing super special, quite honestly. Um, a lot of golds, but nothing really even close to diamond. I'm thinking to save us some time, we're actually going to go across the bridge there. I can bark. Wow. I got a diamond black bear with a long shot at 300 meters with the Mosin. Not too bad, man. Who disliked? Probably the 338 range master. Feeling left out. The pinned guides on the Reddit are helpful remembering zone times. I usually have them pulled up for whatever map I'm hunting. I actually didn't know there were such things. I know um, a community member keeps up with the or keeps a spreadsheet updated pretty well for like all the zone times. That's what I've always referred to. I didn't know there were any. Um, on Reddit? I guess I could have assumed so. I don't really use Reddit, to be fair. Did they fix the funny shotgun bug? I assume you're referring to the, six, the uh, 16 gauge not firing. I hear things. What was that? It just ran. Oh, it's a fox. Two foxes. The female's bigger than the male. Seems familiar. Finally accepted your request on Steam a whole three days later? Oh, right. Because we were trying to do... I was like, why did I send you a friend request on Steam? Madden probs. One of these days, maybe we'll get the game. Who knows? Madden's not exactly the best. Oi! How dare you turn. Get smoked. Just got a 305 non-tip. Where is this tree stand, Sean? And why is it amazing? That... If not for the fact that I just killed my PB non tip like two weeks ago, that would have been bigger than any I ever had. It sure does. Oof. They could add feed zone info in the animal tab. I think they want you to like have to discover that stuff for yourself. It would be kind of nice though. Just got back from school. Welcome back, William. What's the Bighorn's trophy rating for Diamond Cave Buffalo? Is it 156, I think? Pretty sure any above 156 are the bigger horns. I just may get it. I don't know yet. I'm kind of in the same boat. Like, I just... I don't want to get it for console. I don't use my Xbox enough. And it seems like... Because my main interest is playing some, like, online competitive play. And the 
PC competition has to be terrible because with like 12 hours of play I got to top 350, which is just absurd. Like nobody was very good. They still didn't fix the tracks particle bug. They did not. Um, which is, I guess it's not a super high priority thing, but it's a pretty big deal. I love the bottom left lake on Leighton for watching something while hunting in a stand. Yeah, it's one of the few places that a stand really does make sense in this game. Just about every species on the map, other than moose, will stop by there at some point. I started playing Call of the Wild a few weeks ago, liking it more and more. That's good to hear, man. I was glad to see people uh, new coming to the game and enjoying it. Look at all these tracks down here. Must be a herd of caribou, in which case, not really what we're after. When you hunt wolves, do you kill the whole pack or just males? Seems like some of my packs have stopped spawning males. I try to kill them all when I can. Sometimes I just shoot the males like, let's say there's a pack that's not aggressive. I'll try to kill all the males first. And then if they're still hanging around, I shoot the females too. But yeah, I figured, you know, maybe some of the males will respawn and I can get, you know, a diamond or whatever that way. But I tend to find with most species, like taking out the entire herd or the entire pack is the way to go. I was wondering if the lack of particle effect may have been intentional. Well, that would sort of make sense, but then they should have, like surely they would have made it to where it doesn't say particle and glow anymore. Like there just wouldn't be an option for the particle effect. I don't know that they actually said anything about it. Not man, woman. All right, I got you. I'll try to remember. Do my best. Does anyone know if Rio Grande Turkey have rest zones? Uh, yeah. I think they essentially alternate. I think they just feed rest, feed rest, feed rest. They don't drink on Rancho. What's rarest, a diamond or a rare? It depends on the species, really, and what rare, like what you consider rare. For instance, like a piebald axis deer, you'll see way more piebalds than diamonds. A piebald, I don't know, um, piebald whitetail, you'll probably see more diamonds than piebalds. So it really does depend there. Whiteheart. Negative 14, negative 8. Close enough, I could probably remember to go and look. If you want to send a screenshot, that would be appreciated, though. I'm curious where you're getting these things. Should they add cross-platform play? It would be really nice if they could. Um, as far as I understand, that is a pretty difficult thing to implement. Especially for like a smaller game, smaller community, kind of like a niche sort of deal. It's not you're doing good. It's not super likely that I, uh, or I don't see it being super likely that it would happen, but it, I think it would be good for the community. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Launched out of a cannon. We got him, despite the craziness. Weird. What's the rarest thing to get in the game? Rarest thing to get in the game. A rare great one, I think. Albino great one. Technically, as far as odds go, it should be Melanus a great one. I don't know what the odds are for the fabled piebald great one, but yeah, something there. Is it normal that the rifle goes off without even aiming? So, do you mean like this? Because hip fire is very much a thing in this game. If you press the fire button, I don't know if you're on console or PC, it will go off even if you're not aiming down sights. Pretty much ready, Preston. Got a couple of stands that I want to get hung up. Um, spots for Kyla and I to... <laughs> I see you, Kyla. Spots for Kyla and I to hunt together this year, but pretty much good. Where's the actual question? How old are you, and if you're over 21, what's your favorite alcoholic beverage? I'll be 24 here in like a little over a week. Yeah, definitely not the Citrus Michelob Ultra Seltzer. That was terrible. You ever 
Kylo described it right. If you've ever been to like a restaurant and you try to get a Sprite, but it's out of, like the machine doesn't have any of the syrup stuff left, and you just sort of get like a little bit of carbonated, kind of lemon lime-ish water. That's what that was. It was awful. The, uh, what even were the three? There was like a black raspberry one that was all right. Oh, the orange one was okay. Are you an archery hunter? Yeah, archery hunting is by far my preference. Like, I, like I will rifle hunt when I guess a rifle season up. I put my bow down and pick up a, a rifle, but if I could have it my way, I'd fill my tags with a bow every year. I love not only being out that time of year, but just having to get within, you know, 40 yards, 30 yards of your target species, regardless of whether it's whitetail or whatever you're going after. It's just a different kind of thing than gunning. It, it's the adrenaline. It's so much more intense. Every little movement could make or break your hunt. Timing it right. It's all, all a factor there. That's so nasty. It, it was so bad. So bad. Kyla was a champ. Did you drink them all when you were here? You drank at least two of them. <laughs> Berry was decent, just lacked flavor. They all lack flavor, but yeah. Seltzer probs. Tried to find something that I could drink on the 4th that was gluten-free, and that was a mistake. <laughs> what caliber do you use while rifle <laughs> I use a uh, 7 mm 8 I still have yet to shoot an animal with it. I got it in February of 2020. And... Yeah. No chances last rifle season. I, I had like a... We were sort of hog hunting, but we had zero chance with it when I was in Texas. Um, Not even last spring, the spring before. So, also didn't get to shoot it there. Alcohol talk? No. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I did drink them all before you flew back? I thought so. I drank like half of that one and I was like, no. This isn't good. Guess we'll try down here. No money was wasted. Indeed. So hard in Arizona with a bow. Yeah, that's a different thing too, because that's all sp uh, spot and stock, right? I agree with the archer hunting. Not only that here in Missouri, we only get 10 days to rifle hunt. Yeah, here we get, uh, I think it's 13 now. So pretty similar kind of thing. And archery got a lot longer. It's, you know, with um, potentially hunting for six, seven weeks in archery season, sometimes you see the same deer, I don't know, 10, 15 times. You really start to pick up on certain things, like some deer are more aggressive, some deer are more timid, some deer like to... Like, some deer are mostly daylightable because they're feeding. Some are because they're traveling from bedding to feeding. Like, it's... In rifle season here, it's pretty much, if you shoot a buck, it's because some other person was hunting and walked through where it was and spooked it to you. Or you've intentionally done a drive. Whereas archer season's like natural movement. That's what I love about it. I need to find you some bush light apple, but isn't that... That's a beer, though. I think that would have gluten in it, so I don't think I can drink it. Unless I'm incorrect about that. I thought it was. Need to find money to get into archery? Yeah, archery's kind of expensive to get started in. Like, you could get a old rifle pretty cheap. Like, if you... Even an older bow, until you get either a blind or a tree stand, and you're dealing with, like, sights and all this stuff, it it's pretty expensive. Gotta try it with you. Doesn't have gluten? I think it does. I can look. Some don't. I'm looking acid. I need some big male look for my mule deer. What kind of mule deer are you going after? I can try it with you, Kylo, but I'm probably not going to drink like 12 of them. Sometimes you got to put your big boy pants on and drink a beer. Um, my pants are not big boy pants because I don't drink beer, actually. Get smoked. What's your favorite diamond or rare that we've gotten? A uh, the piebald diamond whitetail that we got live on Twitch was pretty cool. 
That's what I was saying, Kyla. I'll do that. I'm just not drinking, like, four of them. Most alcohol has gluten, just smoke weed. I don't want to do that either. I don't even want to know what, what that would do to me. The way my brain is. I'm not asking you to drink 12. I'm just saying. I'll try it. I'm just not going <laughs> to suffer because I want to know how much apple flavor is in it. We know you'll drink 12 of the acid. Uh, I've yet to get a Trax Diamond. I've only not gotten the Diamond Trax of Mule Deer and Red Deer, and I've already given up on Red Deer. Fair enough. Which map are you on? Billowy? Pillowy. It'll make you feel good? Why? When I'm... Never mind. <laughs> I've heard Corona is gluten-free. I, I looked that up, though. I'm not even sure if it's true. That was a typo, but I'll leave it. I would like Billy to now be referred to as Billowy from this point on. Exactly, Jamie. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at without trying to say it. What weapon loadout do you typically carry? If I'm not going after anything specific, if I'm not trying to do like any kind of special loadout, Generally, 300 M1, 243, 22. Supposedly, Oreos are gluten-free as well. Oreos aren't, but there are gluten-free Oreos. Which, I, I tried to make a joke to my family, because, like, literally right when I, I've always had such drugs, and I was like, you know what? Maybe it's, like, not full-blown celiac disease. Maybe it's just kind of, like, a sensitivity to gluten. So I was going to try it. <laughs> like, the weekend that I was first going to start it, I happened to see in the store they had gluten-free Oreos. So I was like, yeah, that's cool. It'll be, you know, a nice little treat, I guess. So I said, like, yeah, I'm going to try glu going gluten-free. They make gluten-free Oreos, so, like, you know, I know I can do it now. And they all thought I was serious, like, I was going to only eat <laughs> gluten-free Oreos for the rest of the time, I guess. Welcome home, Vector. And only if you call me Billowy, Flintowy, I like Billowy. It sounds funny. When does PA Archer season start? In the majority of the state, October 2nd, I do believe. Pretty sure that's one of this. So can I make gluten-free Oreo truffles? You can make whatever you want. You can make whatever you want. I'm sure that's possible. My mom tries to make me a thick lad. She makes gluten-free cookies all the time now. They're so soft. They're really good. I don't know how she does it. Just got here. What are we hunting? Um, fish. Kind of going after moose at the moment. Or grizzly bear if we find any decent ones. Female of both. Go figure. I go crazy when I get a diamond and immediately put it on a full body mount. And Flincher takes screenshots and sometimes puts it in a second lodge. Yeah, it's just, you know, a playtime thing. At the beginning, you know, back in the day, this is even before trophy lodges, it was a huge deal for me as well. It's very late, Great White Ginger. It's quite unfortunate. Caleb. What are you doing here? Are you mowing the lawn? <laughs> What's up, man? Love cooking and baking stuff. I do quite enjoy cooking. Um, baking is not a thing for me because the heating element in my oven in my apartment is broken. Thank goodness I'm moving. I can deal with such things. Um, listen, my landlords are great people, but um, my the bathroom sink has like a drip leak was it the first time you were here kyla like in march they were gonna come fix that that didn't happen um also there's a smoke alarm that needs replaced that hasn't happened so i don't find it likely that that heating element's gonna be replaced so i haven't even bothered everyone's safe good 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 been a while since i was able to make it to a live stream I'm glad you can make it in for the end of this one man 
It's great, Kyla. Why were they actually here? Oh, right. Um, so that sink had problems draining. Literally, look at that. Literally the entire time that I've lived here. And I finally fixed that with like 12 gallons of Drano. And then the, um, the pipe underneath the sink started leaking and I was like, oh my god, this place is a mess. That's why it's cheap, I guess. You're playing well for someone paying so close attention to the chat? At this point, it's a lot of just running around and hoping to spot something in the distance. The nice thing, like this compared to Classic, if I even just quickly, you know, sort of mouse over something, I get that spot animal prompt and I know there's something to look for. Whereas in Classic, if I don't notice it, I can move my binoculars right over it and never know. Making hamburger helper tonight? It's not a bad deal. Hamburger helper's good stuff. 12 gallon? Yeah, that was a 12 joke. It was probably only like... I probably put more than a gallon and a half down it over the years. Any tips for getting diamond red deer? Um, I would say hunt quattro during their drink time, quattro or parquet. For me, I tend to prefer the other species on parquet, so I go there, but quattro probably is a better overall red deer map. So their drink time on quattro, at least in the morning, is five to nine. I would hunt them then, um, shoot all your stags and basically rinse and repeat. Make a live stream on Leighton sometime in the near future. We have to do another Leighton hunt. I feel like, for some reason, like, I, I was super hyped when they sort of changed things around in that map. I really wanted to, you know, hunt it and explore it and discover, like, all the new zones and zone times and stuff. Maybe it was the fact that, really, we just had three rare whitetail as our property stud animals and that was it, like, no diamonds. I just haven't felt the, uh, the drive to go back. Quattro for red deer and roe deer, unless you want a mela. Then you go to Te Aoroa and shoot it in the dark. Why do you look up when you harvest an animal? So that's an old kind of habit that I still find to be useful. It's essentially just with the screenshot. So because the background is kind of like transparent, if you have like the, the dead animal or you know, the leaves, the brush, whatever's on the ground behind the animal in the harvest screen, it doesn't show up as well. But you have that kind of like darker bit that's behind the animal, and then you have the sky behind that, so you just get this like nice blue solid background versus, you know, branches and grass and dirt, all such things. Chick-fil-A acquired, what are you doing? Well, I see, Kyla. Cookies, as a side, or a cookie, a burnt cookie, was not enough. My brother broke my phone screen bad by hitting me with it last night, but it's still working. Um, I'm glad to know that you've survived such a traumatic attack, my goodness. How does that happen? We may smoke that 6 to 7 level 2. There's a couple of them. Yeah, let's do that. 225 meters. That would be about there. That one. And then I'm going to guess that's about the same range. That'll do. We'll kill three. Just steal it and keep the Oreo truffles? It really is a win-win scenario to do it that way. I'm thinking it's about nap 30, I feel that. 440, no, not even 445. 435 was not, not my favorite wake-up time. My tempered glass is a, is a, <laughs> hold on, is broke a bit, but I've never broke a phone per se. There might be one at the bottom of a lake though. As far as I'm concerned, that's breaking a phone. Pretty, pretty sure that counts as breaking it. 
what brand and weight is your bow? I've got an Obsession uh, Nitro HC. 70 pounds I'm shooting this year, which their draw cycles are rough. I should have went a little lower, but make and do. A four wasn't my favorite either, but here we are. Did you get up at four? You just let me sleep for 30 minutes. How do you shoot that far with a 22? So with the Argus scope, the mill dots are exactly 50 meters. So like we're zeroed for 150. The center of the crosshair is then is going to be that 150 mark. First crosshair down is going to be 200. Next one down is 250. Next one down 300. And actually the bottom of the scope there is basically 350. After that, you're starting to guess. Do you have tips on how to make money fast in this game? If you don't have the Goose DLC, um, I recommend getting it. It's like three or four bucks and hunt keys. How much, Kyla, you made like hundreds of thousands of monies yesterday hunting geese during the football game? Because I woke up and couldn't go back to sleep. Aw, how nice. Well, not the not being in a fall back asleep part. The you're welcome part. Sounds painful. Yes. Where is our other duck? Did it, like, float into a shallow spot over there? It's gotta be the case. Flincher? What am I? The Steelers offensive coordinator from last year? Randy Feekner? And three diamonds and, like, 12 rares? It's a pretty good, pretty good haul. You can make 40k per hour no sweat. Yeah, 40k per hour is probably even kind of staying on the safe side. Like, you'll make 40k per hour pretty much every time. If you end up shooting really well and have good luck with how many geese come in. <laughs> this is funny because the geese are in the sky, but this, the sky is quite literally the limit with uh, how much you can make as far as hunting geese. You'll buy it. Yeah, give it a shot, man. I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, as a... Red Fox is calling over there. Make sure it's not some kind of crazy rare. In fact, it is a level 5 female, so we'll just kind of let her walk along and do her thing. But we are officially going to wrap up. Nothing special, but I'm hoping that by like shooting all those moose and caribou, bison, maybe we can get some respawns. I've kind of... I mentioned this on Friday's stream. I think we might kind of start like a series or some kind of thing where we just do more of more hunts like today. Just as I shoot everything day because I've gotten too much into the habit of only trying to shoot like the higher level animals and stuff and then I'm just passing up opportunities at lakes to get many respawns and eventually the maps get stale that way so I'm wanting to get those respawns and make the maps a little more interesting so hopefully next time we have a little something um is that just you're renewing the membership that's what my alerts say I don't know why it Came back up, I think that's what that was. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate the membership renewal. Tis greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you in tomorrow's classic video. Bye!